Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. We are finally in my room again in my original filming setup. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> Today's video I want to talk to you guys about my stay at home reading rush TBR that readathon is happening super soon and I'm really excited about it. The reading rush is hosted by Ariel and Raylene and it'll be taking place from the 16th of April to the 19th. Just a shorter reading rush that they're doing right now because they want to encourage everyone to stay home. Also just add some positivity and some fun and like most of us have nothing to do or like not as much to do or we're bored so this is just a way for kind of our community get together a bit sooner than when it usually takes place which it's still gonna take place in the summer. Super excited for the reading rush. I did the booktubeathon for years. I've done the reading rush last year. I've won every single time but this one's not as strict. Yeah I don't feel as much pressure with this one just because it's supposed to be more laid back and relaxing so I'm gonna talk to you guys about my TBR and Ariel just posted a video also with a tag so we'll answer those. I think I'm gonna answer the tag questions first just because I want to just get those out of the way first but first question is how is your reading going while staying at home honestly i've been doing a reading vlog this past week so i've been i'm in the middle of like i read one poetry book and then i'm in the middle of two other books that's literally the best i've done while in quarantine because i just i'm getting back into my flow of reading again for sure but for the first bit wasn't happening the next question is where have you been reading at home so for me that's been my bed I'll just lay there. I feel like a lot of us read in our bed or like a nice chair, but no, I just read in my bed. What book you read during isolation? Well, I've only read one. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> I guess it counts. <laughs> it's Break Your Glass Slippers by Veda Lovelace, which I did enjoy it. So yeah, but by default, it got that, I guess. Next question is, what is your favorite feel good book? So basically for me, graphic novels, manga is kind of what I'm, leaning towards or like contemporary is what I'm gonna try to read more of just because they're both typically easier lighter reads and then I just really enjoy them so the next question is books that you wish you could borrow or buy from borrow or buy at the moment uh right now I really want to buy Imagine Me by Tahara Mafi but I'm just waiting it out because I still need to read Defy Me anyways I was like part way through it I also really want to read Heartstopper volume three so bad but like book depository is gonna take forever to get here and I'm not just gonna buy the third one because I don't already own the first two like I'd want all of them if I were to buy them and I don't want to spend that much money at the moment the next question is an author you would want to shout out during this time so I want to talk about Amanda Lovelace because I did just read her newest release and also I just love the work that she puts into her collections I love that there are trigger warnings I think that's so important and I love seeing that more and more as books come out that they give a warning and they give a disclaimer before going in and I think that's important to know the topics that you're going to read about especially if you are triggered by certain topics. I just really appreciate her as like a human and as an author I just think she's a really cool person. She's also a witch which is pretty cool so plus she just tweets the coolest things and yeah I like her so. <laughs> and next is what is your reading rush TBR? So the four prompts for the reading rush are read a book with a house on the cover, read a book while staying in the same room the entire time, read a book somewhere set where you wish you could go, and read a book that will make you smile. Those are the four prompts. It's four days. I'm not gonna be doing four books just because I don't want to be too ambitious at the moment. First up here I have the how and the why by Cynthia Hand. So this is actually an art copy that I got a little while ago. Oh wow I got it in November of last year. Fallen behind with my arcs. This book is about a girl named Cassandra who is adopted and she I think is trying to figure out kind of her origin and who her real parents were and like some secrets that were hidden is what I'm kind of getting from the synopsis of this book. This book centers around family and I just think that's a perfect this is like kind of a great book to read right now it also has a house on the cover but I just think it's a good book to read right now considering a lot of us are trapped at home with our families and a lot of people are just fighting with everybody in their household which makes sense because like everyone is with everybody all the time and or at least most of the time so I just think this will be really nice and get a nice perspective on family and apparently the adoptive parents are just really supportive so I'm looking forward to reading about like a healthy family dynamic hopefully <laughs> it is kind of a bit bigger it's 430 so this is gonna be like my main priority throughout the week or throughout the four days is what I'm thinking but then if I do have time I do want to pick up Sailor Moon just because I feel like this is gonna be a super happy kind of read honestly I don't know much about the plot like I feel like everybody kind of knows the basics of Sailor Moon but it doesn't even have a synopsis on it but I just feel like 
I want to go into it kind of blind just knowing the bare minimum so we're gonna do that but yeah, I feel like this will just be super cute and hopefully make me happy so if I don't even finish this then hopefully I will at least read this during the reading rush and then these will be my reads. So yeah, there you guys have it. That is my Reading Rush TBR. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. It's so weird being back in my original. This is not in my original because usually I sit on my bed, but I really do like this spot. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of the background. If you're excited for more videos, definitely let me know more videos you guys would like to see from me. I'm hoping to keep the content going a lot in the next little bit. So yeah, fingers crossed on that. Again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you would like to, I have Instagram, Twitter, TikTok now. <laughs> I have so many things. If you guys want to follow me on any other platforms, feel free to do so. The links are in my description. And I also have a new Etsy shop, which I haven't really formally talked about in a video yet. I did mention it in my uni vlog, but I do have an Etsy shop that's out. So if you guys are interested in that, I will have that also linked down below. But we are restocking every little bit, but due to the COVID-19 thing, we're a little bit short on some supplies. So we're waiting for those to come in. So that's why some orders might be a bit delayed. But we're all doing our best, so yeah. Anyways, I will see you guys super soon with a new video. Bye!